Hello everybody, Basilisk Fang here, and welcome to Deteriorating Mental Health The Game. We need to go see Devila because we're having some problems. It's gonna be like the bit with 2B all over again where I'm just trying to get to one side of the map from the other side of the map, and this limped, crippled running thing that I got going on isn't super helpful. And I'm not even going to the other side of the map this time. I'm on the right side of the map, I just need to go upstairs. I'm assuming Devil is at the resistance camp. I didn't actually check the map. I don't see why she wouldn't be. This is a really slow process. Like, I understand that the game needs a way to represent that Dynest is a little crippled here, both emotionally and physically. But you don't need to let me run for like five seconds and then cripple me all over again. Give me at least like 30 seconds to run before you cripple me again for like five seconds. Like, the, the ratio needs to be better. It's like when they put a traffic light on a really busy road that only stays green for like 10 seconds. Two cars get through the green light before it changes, and I hate that. Oh great, now I'm being attacked and I can't fight back. Go away! I just run, just run, just run, just run, just run! Ooh, we lucked out on that one, he was getting real close. Don't mind me. Just keep swimming. Alright, there we go. Run, 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 run. Hello? Can anybody help me? This is getting really difficult. Ooh, cutscene? Oh, cutscene. You just gonna stare? Oh, okay. Well, they're just gonna stare, I guess. Wounded in battle. NFCS not functioning. I'm amazed you were even able to drag yourself here. So am I. It took me forever. So just hang tight. This is terrible. Your motor cortex is full of holes. Neat. I, I don't know what that is. Even managed to walk here. Oh, and we can just fix it magically like that. All right, you're all good. Your exposed hip has magic powers. Well, now what? They did that, and I received no further instructions. Nine S, I need you to promise me something. Yeah, what's that? Don't die alone. I have a pod with me. I think I'll be I fine. I don't think Two B would want that either. Well, now I'm sad again. <laughs> Hi, Manu Manu, you got anything for me? I'm so glad you made it back safely. Well, nope, she got nothing for me. Pod, mark the next resource recovery unit on the map. Affirmative. All right, so apparently we're just going straight to the next resource recovery unit, which is, which is in the theme park, which I knew that, I just forgot. Does that mean we're gonna learn the mysteries of the zombie robots? Because I'm kind of interested what the story is there. I mean, none of them attacked me or anything while I was there. They seem... at least indifferent to me, if not friendly to me. And I also think it's wild that I just jokingly called them zombie robots, and then they're like, yep, that's a zombie robot. Well, zombie machine, but I call them robots. Is that racist? Should I be calling them robots? Do they prefer to be called machines? Maybe I should start calling them machines. Ooh, foggy. Is it always this foggy? I don't remember it being this foggy. I feel like the resource recollection units are causing fog. It's also awfully quiet here. It's very off-putting. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in the second half of this game that's off-putting. Not outright, like, disturbing. I mean, that's pretty disturbing. I mean, because the first half had disturbing things, like the first time you come here and fight Simone and there's essentially crucified flesh stripped androids in the battle. I mean, that's a little disturbing. But this second half has things that are just off-putting. Like this theme park. It used to have like happy music with happy robots and uh, happy machines. Happy machines. This place used to be full of happy music and happy machines and now it's just this like stripped down slow version of the theme park song in the background and a bunch of zombies and fog, and I mean, it was all crumbled and stuff previously, but now it's just way more noticeable. All in all, it's off-putting. Also, that resource recollection, recollection, recollection unit is huge. Look at that. Were they all that Hello. big? That one just seems this is the resource, resource recovery unit. I can't call anything the right thing. It just seems bigger than the rest. It's probably not, but it just seems bigger. Hey, bud, how's it going? Oh, hey, how you doing? You notice anything funny? Like this giant tower next to you? That language again. This reads, God Box. God Box? 
What are these machines doing talking about gods? I mean, I mean, it's a good question. Is it referencing some god, or is this like a person declaring themselves god? I watched Death Note. Declaring yourself a god does not work out for you. We have a cutscene? No, we're just loading. Oh, hey, god, whoa! Why did the machines attack Pascal's village? Aren't they all the same? Unknown. Well, aren't you helpful? Proposal. Unit A2 should gather further data on the current state of machine life. Hello? was that large structural unit of machine life or origin activated to the east a large what now what the heck is going on around here unknown well let's go check out this large structural unit okay so we're playing as a2 now um, I'm guessing this is where the two storylines start to converge I guess Ooh, hello you're dead can I have this thanks you're also missing your insides that's, uh, seems a bit unpleasant. All right, well, anyway, I thought it was a little bit odd when the story sort of diverged. I don't know, they start off letting you pick who you want to play as, and then suddenly it was like, nope, you're done with A2, and I had to play as 9S, and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, but now that makes sense, because we're, we're probably making the two storylines converge, which should be interesting. Are A2 and 9S going to get along, or are they going to fight each other? I don't know. We probably won't know this episode. I might do side missions. In fact, Papala really wanted us to get Desert Roses, so we should probably just go get Desert Roses, right? I mean, this doesn't seem that urgent. Racing to finish the final lock. Psh, I can take my time on that. Nobody else is going to do it. Go away, Emil. You're annoying. I like how Emil's stuff has a Doppler effect to it. That's one thing I like about Emil. His music has a Doppler effect, so it starts getting detuned as you, like, run away from him. It's a neat bit of sound design, and it's a little bit of a physics thing for you, so that's always fun. Hey there, you mind moving? Thanks. Alright, supposedly the desert roses we're looking for are supposed to be around here somewhere. I don't exactly know where here is, but around here somewhere. Those desert roses the twins wanted should be around here somewhere. Ah, that's what I just said, so I'm glad I'm on the right track. Serious pain. Why are they running such dangerous missions in the first place? They just want to mess with us. Hey, hey, how you doing? I would appreciate it if you go away. You are very fast moving. You have terrible aim, though. It's making me dizzy. Let's see. How do I get across this chasm? Can I jump across it? I certainly feel like I don't want to fall into the sliding river of sand. Let's see. What are you? There we go. Desert Rose. Okay, we need two more of those. And I'm guessing they're up there. Oop, that might be one over there, actually. Okay, that one I think I can get to. That's that's just a jump. That's That's just this. Sweet, one more to go. I already have two. How do I already have two? I don't remember getting two. But I must have. Are the desert roses there from the very beginning of the game and I accidentally picked up two of them at the beginning? There's a way over there. How do I get through there? Well, I might as well try and just make the jump, right? I think this is high enough. Oh yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Beautiful. All right. Excuse me while I go across this precarious cliff. And excuse you. If you would get out of my way, I'm trying to do a thing here. And maybe? Yes, you're dead. Thank you. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Sweet. Well, that was That's easy. For the desert roses. Time to head back. I'm actually not even 100% sure that I can trust Devla and Papala. They haven't given me a reason to not trust them, but they almost feel like too convenient of characters. Like, they're here, and they're trying to help without being asked. I don't know. Their, their insertion into the story is suspicious to me. I know this wasn't easy. Thank you. Sweet meteorite. 
I think I can use meteorite to upgrade weapons. Why are the twins being stuck with all these crap jobs? Well, like I said, they're quite suspicious. Continued crap jobs will eventually have a deleterious effect on the entire organization. I'd better talk to the lady in charge about this. Oh, Nemanu. Well, first we got meteorite, and I think I need meteorite to actually like upgrade weapons. Oh, how'd you get that weapon? Oh, they died. Your high weapons save the external memories of whoever uses them. Please take extra care of her. Oh, he's talking about uh, the the virtuous contract. I was like, what are you talking about, dude? Did I not buy these? I don't want them, but I, did I not buy these? Apparently I didn't buy those. Let's see, faith. Yeah, faith needed meteorite shard. So let's go ahead and upgrade faith. Um, and then we need to go to, well, we don't have large battery, but then we need to go to the guy in the forest if we want to upgrade that even further, but we do need large battery. And that'll bring it up to 608 to 722 attack, which actually might be stronger than like Cruel Oath. Yeah, that's stronger than Cruel Oath, and it's stronger than the Virtuous Contract. So Faith is actually one of the better weapons in the game. It has attack speed up and bullet absorb. So if I can fully upgrade that, that'd be kind of cool. I wonder if I should focus on that. I also want to sell some of the things that I'm full up on because I'm sick of being full up on them. Like I keep finding crystal, but I don't need it for anything. So, okay, we're going to sell like, I don't know, half of my copper ores. I think we're going to sell half of these things that we're maxed out on just to get some bonus cash and then open up our inventory so we can collect more of them. All right, so we're good on that, which means I actually have a ton of money and I can afford to buy these just to have them. So where do all these older weapon models come from, huh? Oh, the lady who owns the place sends them over every once in a while. Her name's Accord, and she's the proprietor of this here business. I just tend to customers and keep all the repair devices humming. I only see her every few years, to be honest. She mostly just uses delivery drones to drop things off. We have delivery drones? I mean, we have pods, I guess that's basically the same thing. I don't know where she gets this stuff, but most of it's in pretty good condition. Say, if you ever happen to run into her, say hello for me, alright? You can upgrade the weapons you buy here. How much I can upgrade your weapons depends on how much money and materials you have. Some upgraded weapons also add effects that improve performance. Give it a try if you'd like. I already did that. But, uh, Accord. Have we met in Accord? I don't think we've met in Accord. Is she in this game at all? I also have no idea where to get large batteries. That feels like something I have to complete missions to get, but maybe I can buy them somewhere. I'd like to fully upgrade that sword if I can. All right, Manu Manu, what's going on? Yes, what is it? And why are you scowling at me like that? Ah, I see, this is about Devla and Papala. I understand how unfair it must seem for them to keep getting our most difficult and dangerous assignments, but I'm afraid that's going to continue for a while. The others here, well, they still haven't forgiven them. Forgiven them for what? And just who the hell are they, anyway? That... That's something you should ask them directly. Oh, okay. Like, now? Hey, what's your dealio? Hey, you have a second? I've got a little favor to ask. We need some tree sap to repair a tent, but there are some super strong enemies guarding it. We can't even dent the things with this flimsy little weapons we have, so maybe you can... Shut up for a second. Why do you two keep getting assigned the most dangerous jobs? You're not exactly equipped to handle this kind of thing. I... I'm sorry. We really should be handling our own tasks. Devla. I mean, I'll help you out, but like, I just want answers. Stop it, I'll take the job. I'm better at killing crap than you anyway. What was it you needed again? Tree sap? That's okay, we'll handle this one ourselves. Devla, I think we should accept the assistance. Come on, sis, we can't keep... Thank you, you have no idea how much this helps. I should have... I, gonna find that? I have tons of tree sap, do I not? Regions rich in tree sap marked on map. Well, aren't you a helpful little box? That's why that he's here. Sap? Time to head back. I was gonna make a joke about helpful little box, but I'm pretty sure it would get me demonetized. Ha! That's the real joke. I don't make any money. But anyway, don't I already have tree sap? I was gonna go get tree sap, but I feel like I already have tree sap. Can I just hand you tree sap? Hello again. Did you manage to secure the tree sap? Thank you. I know this must have been difficult. Hey, I just got it by doing my own thing. Is Devla sleeping? She got a big ass coffee mug. She was drinking. I think she finally passed out. Wait, that's like a booze mug? Are we affected by booze? Are androids affected by booze? She's been trying to cut back, but with things as rough as they are, well, everyone needs a release, I suppose. What do you mean, rough? It's not easy being a defective model, you know? 
In the past, a pair of models identical to ours caused a major incident. Papala! Papala! My glass isn't getting any fuller over here. Yeah, she's pretty drunk. Oh, I can apparently jump while I'm in conversation. I didn't mean to do that. Bunch of no good Raza Frazza. <laughs> oh, Devla. She does love that particular spirit. She makes it with Desert Rose, actually. Oh, so I've just been getting her booze ingredients? You're welcome to try some if you like. Well, if you're offering. Huh? Was it? No, keep your goddamn hands off my booze. Why am I jumping? I'm trying to just go forward in the conversation. It's mine. Mine. I'm gonna drink it all up. Meow. <laughs> Why are you meowing, devil? <laughs> Meow. <laughs> she can say some pretty odd things in her sleep. So you're gonna have a belt or what? Oh, maybe next time. When I drink... Well, it's not always a good thing. Let's leave it at that. Anyway, thank you again. You should take a bit of time to rest if you can. Oh, I got Papala's Booze. Let's see, Papala's Booze increases the power of weapon-based attacks by 50% for 30 seconds. Also restores 100% HP. Well, I don't use those kinds of items, but that's not a terrible effect, I guess. All right, so here's a question. Where can I find large batteries? I need large batteries to complete my upgrade of the faith weapon, but I don't know where I would find those. All right, dude, do you sell large batteries? Because if you do, it'd be super helpful. Well, he's got large recovery. A lot of these people have like, oh, hey, what are these? Oh, it's just extra chips. Okay. Um, a lot of these people have like either chips or like recovery items or things like that, but they don't seem to just sell junk. And maybe that's part of the point. Maybe I can't buy junk. And I'm a little afraid that something like a large battery can only be gotten by completing like a mission. It just seems like the type of item where that might be the case, but I don't know, maybe big guys like this have them. Nope, no large batteries. Just memory alloy. Actually, you know who I think sells materials? Emil. Now I know Emil can be annoying, but sometimes he's useful. The hard part's finding him. Oh wait, there he is. Emil, come back. I need to talk to you. Got him. Hey bud, do you sell large batteries? Because I could really need a large battery. No, he doesn't. But he also sells different things depending on where you are. So he's got broken battery. So maybe he does sell large battery if I get him to spawn somewhere else. I don't know how to do that. Shut up, Emil. I don't know how to get him to spawn someplace else, but I'm kind of under the assumption that if I leave and come back, he'll be somewhere else. All right, would you stop? You're making me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Dang it. There, berserk. You're dead. Die, 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 die. That was easy. I also attacked the moose. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, moose. Ouch. Well, now my midriff is showing. Hopefully YouTube doesn't get mad at me for that. Oop, I hear a meal. Where are you at, Emil? You're in a different spot, that's for sure. There he is, get him. Nail him. Snipe him. Got him. Ha ha. That's not what I meant to do. Go away, robots. I'm trying to talk to a meal. Machines. Machines. I'm sorry. Machines. Uh, no, 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 no. Looks like he just has a bunch of chips. Yeah, it's just a bunch of chips. All right, so not here. I need to get him to spawn someplace else. Meal. Stop. Do not run me over. Do not run me over. Ooh, you almost ran me over. All right. Whoops. I didn't even see you there. Yeah, that was obvious. God, just more chips. Give me something new. Okay, it looks like a kill's over by the resistance camp now. Where'd you land? There you are. So he should have different stuff. What do you got? Let's see. Okay, he's got materials. He's got memory alloy, pristine, blah, blah, large gears. Not large. Ooh, large battery. There we go. I will take... Ooh, those are expensive. I will take three, because I'm pretty sure that's what I need. Awesome. All right. Shut up. All right, I think that's all I need. So now I just need to work my way over to the castle in the forest region. And then from there, I can get to the master that makes the super high level weapons. And then he can upgrade my faith further. Right? It actually might be overkill to go to him right off the bat. But I think I can go to... I mean, he can do it either way. And I might as well go there and just upgrade everything that I possibly can. All right, almost there. Leave me alone, you. Ah, Masamune, my favorite weapon maker. 
Let's see, you can upgrade my faith, so they're gonna go ahead and do that, and that's it. That's as strong as it gets, and it's my strongest weapon. Well, I shouldn't say strongest weapon, but it's stronger than what I've currently got equipped. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. But let's see what else we can do. Let's see, the Type 3 sword I think we definitely need to upgrade, because it does look kind of cool. It's like a chainsaw. Ooh, that's actually pretty strong. So that one ranges. So if you look at Faith, it ranges from 608 to 722. Not a huge range, it's about a 100 point difference. But if you come down to the Type 3 sword at its fullest level, it'll do between 494 and 836. Now that 836 is a really high number, but that 494 is a really low number. So, I mean, it has Endurance up and Finish Blast, but uh, apparently if we upgrade the Machine Heads, it gets us a Robot discount. Which, first of all, it's machine. Robot is a very racist term. But it seems a little odd that if you're literally wearing their brethren on your hands, that they would give you a discount. Maybe they're scared. Maybe it's maybe it's an intimidation discount. Okay, if we upgrade it fully, it gives us a machine brand. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna get it. Sweet. Hmm, it has been long and long since I've seen someone take such good care of a weapon. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Oh. Cruel Lament. This is one of the weapons I was telling you about. It was passed down through the generations until it came to me, and I can't bring myself to seal it away. But I know you will give it the respect it craves. Sweet. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. All right, first things first, let's equip Faith. We're gonna replace the Virtuous Contract with it, I think is the way to go. I mean, I hate separating myself from 2 b sword, but I kinda gotta go with the stronger sword in this one. So the Cruel Lament is a combat bracer. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Okay, so that goes along with the, uh, like the Cruel, nope, that's not it. That goes along with the Cruel Blood Oath, which is the big katana for 9S's default weapon. And then of course we have the Cruel Oath, uh, which was 9S's default weapon. So that was interesting. Apparently we're missing spears. Well, we're missing, so we're missing the Cruel Spear. We have Virtuous Dignity, so there's going to be Cruel Something that we don't have. But then we're also missing Virtuous Something for the Combat Bracers. There's no Virtuous stuff here. So we're still missing, like, two of the Legendary Weapons, if I understand this all correctly. So we'll have to keep our eye out for that. We only have 69% of the weapons. Um... Now, some of them, I, some of them I didn't buy. I'm just now remembering that I basically never bought weapons from the store owners throughout the game. So some of them I need to buy, but there's some that are probably hidden away somewhere that I either need to be really strong or really clever to find or something. I don't know. We'll get to them eventually. I also like how the virtuous stuff has like holy blessing and the cruel stuff has like dark impulse. And I, I, on top of just the, you know, contrast between the weapons, because that's fun in and of itself, I think it's interesting that... 9s has the cruel series of weapons uh since we're seeing what is possibly like more and more darkness in him now that everything has fallen apart um and in many ways 2b was a little bit of a white knight she didn't really like machines and she wasn't really afraid of like fighting things like fighting was her way of doing things but she didn't seem ill-intentioned she didn't seem to be dark she just was doing what she needed to do, but 9S, we're starting to see some darkness. In fact, we're basically starting to see him go from being quite virtuous to being quite cruel. Um, I don't know, so that's interesting. I, I don't know if that's like significant, but that's just an observation I made. It may not be intentional, but I think it's interesting. And A2 here is probably going to start going the other way. She started off being, um, you know, sort of intolerant of the machines and whatnot, and now she's starting to warm up to him a little bit, I think, so, but... Let's get out of here. All right, so I was going to come back to the the resistance camp here and actually end the episode, but I forgot that we should actually like take a look at this weapon. It's uh, got a gold handle and it, like a purple spine on it, which is interesting. I wonder why that is. I mean, I'm kind of assuming this game is from near... Well, I'm just going to call it near replicant because that's what the remake is called, but the original near game probably has this weapon in it since there seems to be a lot of references to that. And it supposedly has bullet absorb, so I'm going to try and trigger this guy and see if I can figure out what that means. Go away, Emil. I'm assuming that if I smack the bullets, like I can absorb them and like add their power to mine or something. Oop, now these guys are gonna blow up. Hold on. Just shoot at me. That's all I want is for you to shoot at me. All right, you know what? This isn't working. All right, now he should probably just shoot at me. I got rid of all his little fins. So let's see if we can get, well, let's get a little further back so we get some distance to work with, but shoot at me. 
Okay, so it does absorb them. Okay, that's cool. It wasn't a super detailed test, but it made a little sound when I smacked the bullet, so I'm assuming it's working. So, all right, that was fun. All right, all right, we made some good progress. Um, advanced the story a tiny amount, finished up a side mission. Ooh, item. Finished up a side mission, uh, got better weapons. So all in all, a successful day. Uh, and next time, we will continue the story. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click that bell to get notifications every time that I upload a video, which is several times a week. But especially, Near Automata is every Saturday at noon Eastern. So you definitely want to be on the lookout for that. Leave a like on this video if you liked it, just to let me know that you liked it. Or leave a comment, or both. Do whatever you feel like. I don't really care. But that just about wraps it up. So thank you all again. Again, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!